Hi guys, welcome to another session with Dr. Sarah Basharan. I am your industrial organizational psychologist. I'm the workplace doctor. I am very much passionate about the welfare of um, employees in a workplace, whether it doesn't matter what level you are in the workplace. Um, my mission is to ensure that you have the right tools, the right knowledge to go very far in life and to really become the most in-demand human assets in the workplace. But today, really, I want to focus on my life coaching series. Um, the title of my this video today is, you know, get up or die. Yes, get up or die. And um, I'm a Christian, I'm a spiritual person, um, and uh, I really got led to do this video when I focused on the story about the um, disabled man at the beautiful gate. He was waiting there for about, 30, the scripture says he was waiting there for about 38 years, waiting for someone to help him up and take him to this pool of water where he saw people being healed because he had some type of um, disability, a physical disability. And he's just waiting for, for someone to help. 38 years, he stood in the same spot, the same spot, okay, 38 years. And um, that 38th year, Jesus Christ came on the scene. And Jesus Christ asking, what do you want? I mean, imagine you would think it's obvious, right? He wanted to get be healed, right? But the man said, well, there's no one to help me. That's what he said when Jesus Christ said, what do you want? And he said, there's no one to help me. As I'm saying this story, I hope some of you can see yourself in this picture, right? He said, there's no one to help me. And um, Jesus Christ basically said, get up. Take your mat, because he was on the mat for 38 years. Imagine one spot, 38 years on that mat. That was his, that was his, that was his home. That's what people identified him with. The crippled man at the beautiful gate on the mat. Jesus Christ said, take up your mat, get up and walk. He never heard that before, but you know what? Something empowered him within himself. It wasn't like Jesus Christ laid hands on him, but it was that new information, that new knowledge, something, that truth resonated within himself that he said, you know what? I'm going to bet on that new word. I'm going to bet on that new knowledge and I'm going to have experiential knowledge that, you know, and then he got up and now the truth, the truth is the real truth is that word, that new information worked for him. You know, and he walked around leaping and hollering and just being happy. And everyone's like, what happened here? Because they were like, weren't you the guy that was on the mat? Isn't it interesting how they said, weren't you the guy that was on the mat? So people passed him by. People saw his condition. People didn't help him. So what am I trying to say, my people? You have got to help yourself this new year. It is your responsibility to co-create those of you who are spiritual, to co-create with the, the substance of who you are within. And I don't even blame you if you don't even know what I'm even saying right now. This is part of lack of knowledge. And the good book says, you know, my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. How long do you want to be in a, in a, in a position that is constant and it's real struggle? And everyone knows you by that. Whether it's you go from one romantic relationship to another. Whether you have a, a, a bad relationship with your spouse. Or one divorce from another. just Or just straight unhappiness. You just, you know, going day to day. Just trying to, trying to be okay. Putting on a good face. In a job that you know you could do better. You know you can increase your capacity. But what are you waiting for? Like, hasn't previous years and previous experiences showed you that until you make a move, until you want to invest in yourself, that something actually will happen? Even you get in that job right now, or if you're in a relationship right now, you're just starting a new business right now, you know you had to get new information, um, understand that information, apply that information, and see the results. 
Now, if you get results that just suck, I'm sorry, I've got to use that word, just suck. It's, it's just, you don't want no one to know about it. You're very ashamed or you're embarrassed. You got to just ask yourself, what are you doing wrong? I'm just here today to just wake up your consciousness that you are waiting on the wrong person beyond yourself. The only person you should be waiting on is yourself to wake up. You know, I have a link below anyway of, of some books that I've curated together because I'm all about reading. Not just reading, but reading to understand. Not just like in school, you know, like I'm did, I did a PhD in industrial, industrial organizational psychology. I'm not just reading because I want to pass my grade. I want to get my degree. I am reading to, to understand the principles behind the knowledge so I can apply it. Because if I don't know the essence of this knowledge, I can't apply it in my life. You see, so it's not like most of you don't even have, you don't read or you, you know, you, you don't, yeah, you don't read, but it's just that you haven't meditated enough for you to get understanding or you haven't even got the right knowledge. So that's why, you know, I have a link below with a curated list of eBooks and video, um, tutorials to really help you reprogram your mind. The old mentality that you've been having, if you look at your results Generally, you know you could do better. You know you could do better, okay? So I just want you to like, take a look at what I have in my link below. Again, I am pro-reading, pro-meditating um, what I've read to understand it, pro-applying that knowledge so that the, the old mentality that doesn't give me good results can actually produce the results that I want. Okay, whether it's for you to get a new job and you, you've noticed that when you go from one job to another, you're experiencing the same thing, whether it's, you know, a, a collegial issue, like coworker issues, what, because, you know, you're, I don't know, you, you don't know how to communicate very well. I have books on that. Check out the link. If you're trying to um, establish a business, you can't go from a job to business without reprogramming your mind. If you have issues with um, disciplining yourself, you know, s repeating um, activities that are sure to bring you good results, you're undisciplined. I've got books about that. It's a mindset thing. Some of you want to start something, you stop, start, stop, because there's a default programming that's literally limiting you. Okay. So this year is a profound year of overflow if you're ready to tap in. And if you're honestly ready to be honest with yourself, that if I don't get up, I might as well die. And when I say die, I don't mean like a physical death. I mean just straight up mentally death, going back to what you were doing, confusion, spiritually dead, just not being productive, not even ha being happy and enjoying your life. You're not meant to be unhappy you're not meant to be. Think about it. You made it through the birth canal. You made your debut on your birth date. There's a reason why you're here. There's an impact that you're meant to do. Even doing this video, I was just, you know, distracted with different things, working with different people. But I just felt very led that I'm like, you know what? As an industrial, in, industrial organizational psychologist and a life coach, I got to be honest with you. You are not going to get the results that you want until you change your mindset, reprogram, identify your default system, or in other words, identify your paradigm that is literally inhibiting you. If you're someone that wants to exercise, for example, right? And you start and you stop, you start and you stop. Let me tell you, you don't necessarily, you don't have a health conscious mindset. You haven't got enough information to motivate you to let you know that it's actually important. Why don't you just try repeating these exercises a few times and see and get some feedback? Sometimes that's what we need. We need the feedback to motivate us. And I, and I get that. But you're not going to get the feedback until you repeat the same positive activity or positive thought mindset for a set period of time. 
So get up or die. The, the man at the beautiful gate waiting for people. You can't wait for people. But you know what? The entire universe is waiting for you. Your family's waiting for you to get up. Because sometimes you look at your family and like, I don't know why my family doesn't do this and do that. Well, you know what? Because they're waiting for you. You're the one that needs to demonstrate. You're looking around your workplace and you're like, you know, sometimes you think to yourself, gosh, I wish this can improve and this can improve. But you know what? The person that questions is the person that has solutions. You're the solution person. You're the one that the workplace is waiting for you to arise and shine. Stop acting like, oh, they're not going to listen to me. That's your, you're telling yourself that. So you have the image of insecurity, low self-esteem. This is why I say you need to read some books. And when you read the books that I have in the link below, read to understand, not read to accumulate data. Read to understand. Be like a data anal analysis person. A data analyst. Analyze the data. What does it mean? When you're reading these books and getting information, ask yourself, what does this mean? How can I apply it to my life? Now, the things that's going on in your life that's negative. Ask yourself, what does this mean? Why? Like, for example, you, you're, you know, you've got many degrees and you're not able to find a job. What does that mean? It could mean you may have to learn a new skill set. It could mean that the knowledge that you've already acquired, you need to repackage it and help other people. Ask yourself, think, think. Many of us don't think. Knowledge just keeps coming. But even what I'm saying right now, I'm wondering how many people are going to think. Please write in a comment and tell me what you've learned from this video at the end. Because that's how I know you've received it. You've thought about it, processed it. And now you're going to sit back and see how you're going to apply this to your life. You're either going to get up with or without someone's help or die. Jesus Christ, thank God he came on the scene. He was the truth. He was the knowledge. And I'm hoping what I'm saying to you right now is truthful knowledge to get up. I'm hoping some of the books you read in the link below will help you get up. Because people are not always willing to help. As you can see in the story, I told you about the man at the beautiful gate, the crippled man. People are not willing to see you to, to, to help. They're okay for you to stay right there. They can see you have a problem. But they're not willing to help. They may even tell you you have a problem. But they're not willing to help. And they're not for people to help you. You know who's the person to help you? You. You have every good um, substance and the right thought processes within you, you're just not exercising it. Why don't you try today to believe in yourself, even just for one thing? I know there's been enough things in your life already to, to show you that you have it in you to make a change and that you do have some confidence. But I also know there's some failures that's occurred in your life that's really reduced your esteem. You're just like, I'm not trying that again. I'm not bothering but even those failures, you've learned something, you've got some wisdom. So when you try again, you can avoid those pitfalls or do something what you should have done. Everything works together for your good. Everything is always working for you. Whether you think it or not, it's always working for you. Even this video is just a pointer to get to point back to yourself again. Don't let this year pass you by. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Write some in the comment. Even encourage me to continue with these videos. Okay? I really, really care about you guys. And um, it's really, really important that you see something different about yourself this year. That you demonstrate something different about yourself this year. And this will give you the confidence to take the next step. All right? I'm out for now. If you like this video, please subscribe so you can get a note and click the notification button so you get notifications about my next video, you know, my next life coaching series. I'm really enjoying this actually. So give me a thumbs up, like, and share, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day. Bye.